Good morning, Rachel. Good morning. You doing work? No. No? I'm actually looking at pictures again. Your pictures you got done? Yeah, nothing uploads here though. No, so. we're in the mulch yard, as you guys can see. Look at all the beautiful mulch. Still no mini pine bark nuggets. Still no mini pine bark nuggets. We're getting double ground pine. That's our number one mulch of choice. Our second mulch of choice would be the hardwood, which double is, ground oak. Double uh, ground oak. yeah, double ground oak would be our second choice. Which is all the way over there. But we are getting this today. That's our first choice. So I was going to prune this bush, guys. We're getting ready to go do that mulch job. I was going to prune this bush, but now I can't. That little bird is laying a nest in it. So we're back here. We are re-edging this bed and mulching it. And I am going to widen these beds a little more. We did this mulch project a long time ago. Even all the plants. Same thing here. Is I'm going to bring this out a good four or five more inches. Right here, well, we don't have to do anything in there but mulch it. Same thing with here. I'm going to bring this out four or five, six more inches around here. So we're going to dig this drain here because it ends right here. And we're going to bring it out here more. We're going to probably bring it maybe all the way to like right here. I did 70 something feet and it was actually bringing it all the way to... I don't want to bring it all the way into there. Okay. I kind of want it to drain out into the grass here. Right. So I'm probably going to bring it to here and put a pop up here. Yeah. And then the rest of the way it can permeate into the ground there. Right. Same thing with this line here. We have to dig this out and redo this. If you notice, all the stuff comes out of the gutter and it washes up here. Um, not good. Look at them flowers. They're really nice. I know. They look really nice this year. I'm going to cut the candy tough. Okay. Um, oh, the daylilies are all clean. And I am going to widen this bed more. Everything's getting widened a little bit more. Yeah. Um, and then we have one more bed on the other side. But we're not going to get to this today. We're only going to work on the front. And then we have all day tomorrow to finish this. Yeah. So you're going to set up yep, the sprinkler. Set up the sprinkler so because we want to get this wet so it's yeah. not hard to dig it. Yeah, I can.
There we go, Rachel finishing blowing up. We did this bed here, cleaned it out, spaded it, made the beds wider. They were right to the edge of the flowers. I made them another six inches wider. And then this one over here. And they came and marked everything, so we'll be out here early tomorrow morning to start digging all the drains. That should be fun. Right? Digging through the rock. So we are home for the day. We mowed one more, but I didn't record that one. Um, so I decided to come out here and do some work in the garden. Oh, one of the bud flower buds fell off. Um, this is a fuchsia. I'm not sure what's going on here. So if anybody's grown fuchsia, um, just let me know if you know what that is. This is some kind of fungus. Um, these are in the sun in the afternoon a little bit, even though they're supposed to be in shade some, but so far they're doing good. And these are all the hanging baskets that, these are all ours that we started. These we ended up getting, but they were really little. But everything's looking really good. I think I might have to water again tonight. We tried growing over here. It is a little disappointing. Um, I'd say 70% of my zinnias, the groundhog wiped out down here. It was 70% of all the zinnias that I actually planted. Um, all the amaranth, um, ate down all these um, chamomiles. I'll show you real quick. It, it, it stinks, but I'm almost tempted to dig these zinnias up and take them back where the groundhog does not go um, and plant them over there and bring them back to life. Look, I'll show you them real quick. He just keeps on eating these. Um, every time it grows new growth, he eats them. Obviously, you know, that probably doesn't help. It needs some, oh my goodness, definitely needs some water. I might come over here and water these, but look, all the way down everything see it all the chamomile it keeps coming over here and eating hmm. this one's coming back from the the bottom ate that zinnia down everything this one oh, groundhogs so this side was a uh a no-go guys obviously he's still coming and eating so since I didn't record much um, mowing today, we only mowed one, I'm going to take you guys through a walk through the garden. It's actually coming along really nice, looking really beautiful. Um, I've been watering, 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 watering. Today's the first day I didn't have the sprinklers on all day. I only watered my buckets because they have to be watered every day. I have to set up the sprinkler. So, oh, oh, oh man, that's not good. I need a sprinkler. I left it at that job. I don't have one. I'm going to have to go to Ace in the morning. Boss is letting me buy something anyway. You guys will see. Okay, so I'm going to show you the garden real quick. As you guys know, this is the butterfly garden for our new subscribers. Um, this is our big butterfly garden we made last year. We improved on it by making it look more like a butterfly, but we have all flowers in here. We have the um, Dianthus all throughout here. Now this one doesn't look the best, but I don't know why. Let me, I don't know why that one looks a little dead. Maybe I should cut that one back. But we planted some ice plants, chamomile. We haven't finished planting everything. I still have a blanket flower to plant. Um, some more dianthus over here. And look at it all. See, oh, the I know what that is. The, all this brown here are spent flower buds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and when these die back some more, I'm gonna shear these off. And what they'll do is they'll put on new flowers because um, they are dying back now. Really pretty though. Um, then we have the, these are torch lilies, which are really cool too. Um, these are first year. We just planted these this year. Here's some zinnias here. These ones aren't as big as the ones in buckets down in the backside of the garden. I'll show you them. Um, Rachel planted, this is Rachel's, um, climbing rose. That one's doing nice. A lavender plant. And these smell so pretty. 
Oh, oh, she seen me out here, guys. Hi. Did you come out here to say hi to everybody? You want it to be on YouTube? No matter where I'm at, if I come out here, this chicken comes out here. I'm going to be digging in a minute, though. I'm showing uh, all of our subscribers the garden. So, don't go out in the road, man. I don't want to have chicken for dinner. Okay. That one probably needs water, but... And we sprayed... Those aren't doing good at all. Those are eggplant. We never do good with eggplant. This is all the kale, and that's looking good. We're not going to have to water this stuff. I've heavily watered it, so I think I'll be able to go another day without water on this look how big these snapdragons are man they're gonna have long stems too if we wanted to use them for cut flowers this is kale and we love making kale chips especially with the di that's my favorite the dinosaur kale and then rachel loves her cabbages more snapdragons oh and look guys right here are rachel's snow peas a whole bunch of them coming up. Nice. I'm going to keep these watered. So in this aisle, we have columbine and lupine and zinnias, chamomile. That's celery on the outside here. Some more zinnias. I don't even know how this zinnia came back. I mean, it's growing up like that now. It broke, it bent at its stem there. Um, those aren't doing too good, the celery there. I think some of this I do need to give fertilizer. It's been a while since I've given it. Rachel ordered some. For some reason, we're not doing too good with basil. Maybe if I put it in the ground, it'll do better. And then we have all this here. Our strawberries are looking amazing in our buckets. Some of them have bigger strawberries than other ones, but we are definitely gonna have a lot of strawberries, which isn't a bad thing. It's never bad to have too many strawberries. Onions are plopped over. More snapdragons, guys. Those are peppers. They're not doing the best because they were out in the really cold weather we got. Here's our blueberry plants. So everything is looking good. This basil's already gone to seed. So, but I bet you it smells good. Oh man, if you guys could smell that. These are blanket flowers or gardenias, I think. Um, this is another rose that we thought we killed. Came back. Look at Rachel's potatoes. We didn't have flowers on our potatoes last year. And these potatoes are getting flowers. See, guys? Nice. But look how tall they are. Those are in huge buckets. More strawberries. Look at these strawberries. And a lot of these just keep producing. Um, a lot of these strawberries, more zinnias, blanket flowers. These are all our columbines and lupines mixed in here. Of course, this is a weed. Oh, look. Oh, those are my columbines that are getting flowers, purple flowers on that one. Purple columbines. Look at the lupine. Really pretty. We had a purple one. Rachel gave it to a client or sold it to a client. And then here's more zinnias here. And my bucket zinnias look way better than my ones I put in the ground. But it might be because they're getting more water. I don't know. And we're about to get our flowers on our achilla, guys. Hopefully you like this little garden walkthrough. Now, look. This happens with our artichoke last year. I'm just going to take that off because I don't really want any dead in there. So we'll see if it comes back. I am going to spray. Oh, look at our blackberries. I don't think we're going to get blackberries, though, this year. I forgot what we had in this whole little garden thing going on here. I don't think those blackberries are coming back. Oh, wait. One of them did. I don't know about this guy. He might not come back. I'm not going to pull it out. More zinnias. So pretty. I haven't seen a chamomile flower yet. This is all like orange mint in here, right? Is it? Orange mint. It smells orange too. Um, and here's a bunch of other flowers. Everything's looking really good out here. Oh, look at these tomato plants. Oh, so maybe more water is key. Oh, that tomato could definitely... 
I think the warmer weather has definitely helped with um, these tomatoes looking better. And look, this is all the garlic. Rachel said it didn't bulb yet, but I don't know if it's going to bulb yet. I think it starts bulbing later in the season. She wants me to fertilize this. This is not, um, that's a weed. That needs to come out. Okay, now that I showed you guys all of this in here, which is turning out to be really nice, I'm going to show you. On the outside, we did an arrangement of bucket flowers. Now these, look, see how dry that is? I water these every day. Um, every night I come out and I water these and they get sprinkler water because they do dry out. This is pineapple sage, I think. Yes, pineapple sage. I don't know where I'm gonna put this one because I have flowers in buckets all the way around here. So guys, I got probably like eight tomatoes planted. That's about it. But Rachel was going through the pots over there that I watered. I had the sprinkler on four hours this morning and she was pulling pots out that were dry and the plants weren't doing so good. So I'm gonna go through and hand water starting today and get up at like six in the morning and just do the rest of this. Just a heavy dosing because it's only gonna get hotter from here out. I don't wanna lose my garden. Hotter and drier, I think they said. A couple inches them being small plants, there's not water that it dries up so quick. I'm gonna get to watering the rest of this stuff as much as I can before I either get it bit up by mosquitoes or I lose daylight. I wanna get a lot of water down as possible because like I said, we ain't gonna get rain for a while. So guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember guys, be happy or at least try. And for all you guys that aren't getting rain, I hope you get some. And I seen you guys in Texas and stuff that are just getting a deluge. I wish it would come over here some and you guys would get a break, but I can't control the weather or I wouldn't be doing lawn care. So guys, have a good night.